Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. This is our fifth film in the series on how to uh, create a rim schedule and insert it into a sheet. And in this film, we're actually going to be inserting that into a sheet. So, yeah, let's get go ahead and get started. You'll notice that I did finish up the rim schedule, filled in all the blanks. It may, may not all make sense, but it did fill in the blanks. You're going to take a little bit more care with the schedule you're going to be putting together. Uh, for uh, your projects just to make sure it uh, comes together correctly so let's go down here to sheets right click on it let's go to new sheet let's go ahead and load a new sheet if you don't see your sheet here and I loaded my sheet not not too long ago what you're likely to see here is none which will just give you a blank template or the template that comes with Revit architecture we're not going to choose either of those we're going to choose this one here in my title block D um, uh, template I worked on a little bit earlier in the week, in the week but you want to find yours so let's go ahead and load and go to the location where you're going to find it. Mine was on the desktop and I have it under my class folder under the, the prep folder and I have it in the, the, the higher hierarchy here, here in regard to the week folders that I have and I'm going to choose my title block D E D and I template file that I created so go to OK and when you get back here go to OK again Again, you want to choose the proper one, which is our D size sheet. And there we have it. Let's do this. And so uh, they kind of go together. Let's go ahead and put our floor plan in. And we'll do that one first, and we'll check out our rim schedule on the, on the next video. So we plop our floor plan in, and uh, it's got some things in there we really don't want to see. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's right click inside of this. And what we have here is, is an object is sitting on our sheet, which can be manipulated and moved around. What we can't do is go inside of here and try to edit things. We can't delete walls or move things around. All we can do is move that object, that window, kind of like a viewport window, and uh, move it around. So let's click on that. And uh, once you have that selected, if you right click, go down to Activate View. What that does is it kind of puts the background, the, the drawing in our background, a drawing template in the background. And now it does give us the ability to select some things, like we're right in the floor plan, and uh, take these items and uh, do some things with it. So I'm going to take these trees. I'm going to tell them to hide it in a view. So I really don't want to see these trees in my uh, floor plan. All I want to do is see some of the floor elements. And we'll save some of these trees for our site plan. Let me put that together. So they're not gone forever. It just puts them in the background and they could be extracted later if you wanted to. So we're going to hide that too. Hide and view elements. So we got those out of the way. And let's do this. Here's two buttons down here they're going to be playing around with. One is show crop region. If you click on that, it shows you where the crop region is, which means everything that's with inside this, this uh, rectangle that's drawn, this squarish rectangle is going to be, uh, is going to appear in here. And then we could tell it to show or not show it, or crop it or not crop it. So let's do this. We're going to crop the view which means everything that's inside of that gets, uh, gets taken out. And that shows it, actually. So let's do this. We're not going to crop the view yet, but we're going to move that view around. We're going to take our grips and move that view in. Take this grip and move this view in so that we do not see these annotation symbols associated with our elevations. And one thing you might want to do is scroll down here, and we want to make sure that we do see and it's down here somewhere. We want to make sure that we do see our annotation crop. Right here is where it is. It's under extents and our properties. We want to see our annotation crop. So that's going to show us everything that's uh, within uh, our annotation crop. Annotations like what these symbols are for our elevations are going to show. So it gives you one additional editing capability here. So now that we have that there, we're going to crop the view. It'll take out our elevation symbols and now we're going to hide that crop region. Now we still have an active view in here. Let's go ahead and bring that region back. We'll click on it, and we're going to change the scale on this. Uh, eighth of an inch is just a little bit too small in here. Let's try a quarter of an inch is equal to a foot and see if we can make that fit the screen a little bit better. It might be a little bit too big, and we might have to crop this further. Oop. What we want to do here is we want to deactivate the view. So right click, deactivate view. So now we have that uh, that item that we can manipulate in what would be in. Uh, AutoCAD paper space and it does look like we can get it to fit. So I'm going to make some additional modifications to this but this film's getting awful long. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and we'll pick it up in the next film.